In this problem, we're told simply that the radius, OK, over here is equal to 3. And then we're told that the line OP, right here, is equal to 5, right? So here, this is not trying to scale, but this green line is 5, and here the radius is, is 3. Our goal is to find the length of kp and py here. And this is based on a few things. We should know that kp is tangent to circle O, and so is py. And tangent means a line. If a line is tangent to a circle, it means it intersects the circle at a point. And you see those points k and y. Furthermore, if you draw a radius from the center of a circle to a tangent, you get a right angle. So now we can see that we have a right triangle. Let me highlight that. Right, This right here is our right triangle. And we're given the base and hypotenuse of the right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. 3 here is a leg, so 3 squared. We don't know kp, b squared equals the hypotenuse squared, 5 squared. So we solve for b squared, right? 3 squared is 9, plus b squared equals 25. Solve for b squared, I subtract 9 from both sides. b squared equals, well, what's 25 minus 9? That's 16. Take the square root of both sides, and b equals positive or negative 4, but clearly it must equal 4. Also, you can recognize this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, a classic right triangle. So this tangent line is 4. Now, if you have two tangent lines that meet at the same point, they're of equal length. So this line here is also 4. All right, hope that helped.